What's up? Welcome to Jinked Ink. I'm Courtney, and in today's video, we're going to be sculpting a nightlight. We have a treasure chest, some cost clay, polymer clay, and some fabric. Let's see what we can make with this. We'll start off with a simple LED wire kit thing that I got from the dollar store. It basically just needs batteries and it turns on. You can light it up how you want to. I'm mapping out where the treasure chest is gonna go and the cut for the light switch so it can be hidden. Then I'm drilling a hole for the LED light to be strung through. Now my husband had all his tools with him and I only had my rotary tool on me and instead of waiting patiently, I decided to try and cut the hole out with this. And it took a long time. First impression of this clay. Uh, it seems pretty workable. Let me get this nice and conditioned and then start working it around the head. I'll be using foil for the head and wire for the rest of the armature. Uh, I think I want to position the head around here. Um, I'm going to want to put some oven bake adhesive, some baking bond on here so that it sticks to the wood. Now that I'm thinking of it, I might put clay over the entire thing so that I can create like some broken board effects. Heck yeah, new ideas popping up. I know it looks crazy right now, but it should look cool when I'm finished. <laughs> all right, so now I have all the tentacles roughly placed out. I'm gonna go ahead and start to sculpt the tentacles out of the clay and then stick it on and work with it from there. I wrapped the smaller wire around the rest of the wire so that it created something for the clay to stick to. I have the basic parts of this sculpted. I'm gonna have to try to figure out how exactly I wanna do the lights and the treasure on the inside. Over right here I have the treasure and a little compass. Um, I'm gonna mark on here, like little spots where I'm gonna put some seaweed and some coral and stuff and then bake that separately before I start to attach everything together. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, sweet. Okay, got a nice little assortment of coral. Now let's bake this and then move on to the next step. So I'm gonna water down the paint a little bit here and uh, create some of the darker shading through the cracks and stuff like that. And also create like a little bit of wash in some spots so that you see a little bit of aging and variation in the wood.
very lightly. And I just dab a tiny bit of paint on there. Like, look how much paint that is. Nothing. Even wipe it off a little bit. And then brush it over the outside of the suckers and creates a highlight. that's it for me today i hope you like this video like subscribe comment all that stuff and until next time be kind stay positive and keep creating